Bonjour everyone, today is an exciting day. I'm here at Gare d'Orsolute in Paris and we are going to Orléans for the day, so to the Loire Valley. I'm so excited. Again, it is on the Camino that I'm planning in the coming years. But yeah, I'm so excited to get out and see another city. Let's go. Okay everyone, we have made it safely to the city of Orléans. So Orléans is in the Loire Valley, which is an amazing wine region and it has a beautiful river setting and so many chateaus and like it's beautiful, stunning scenery all throughout the Loire Valley. But the thing that Orléans is famous for is Joan of Arc saved the city from the British back in like the 1400s. Anyways, first up, I am headed to the cathedral, which is number one site on TripAdvisor to go and see. And it's also the cathedral stopping point for the Camino. Let's go. Okay, so to get around Olion, you can go by foot, which is what I'm doing today. I'm just kind of slowly meandering along the Camino path when I reach it in just a moment. There's also a light rail system, so no metro here. There's a light rail which crisscrosses the city, so you can hop on and off that at your leisure. There's also bike rentals just like in Paris. I'm sure there's probably some scooters around as well. Um, but it is currently flat, not too many hills. So if you've got all day like I do, why not go for a wander? guys inside the cathedral is absolutely incredible i highly rate this cathedral it's way better than notre dame skip notre dame and come to Orléans for the day instead but to make things real i can't back out now i just bought my credential for my next pilgrimage so for those who don't know about the camino this is where i collect stamps to prove that i am going i'm going to need several because i am going for several thousand kilometers yeah it is so cute i bought it here at the cathedral now it's real i have to come back and i've got to do it okay so next up i'm going to go for a wander around the cathedral and then there is a mansion just across the way here that is free entry that i'm going to go and explore before getting a snack i've looked on tripadvisor and the best snack is apparently a la creperie just around the corner so hello yoniva Okay, I've just been walking around the cathedral and it is stunning and at the back of the cathedral there is a beautiful French park just waiting for me to explore. So we're just going to go in and wander around and get back to the cathedral.
Okay, so, oh my gosh, this cathedral is amazing. I can't get over it still. And the park at the back, so cool. No, that was really cool. It was six rooms, and I think it used to be a hotel at some point. I don't really know how these work, but it's kind of like Hotel de Ville, like there was a council chambers. But oh my gosh, it was just so decadent, and a really cool free gem to come and see. This old town is so cool. I feel like I'm in the Middle Ages, but a much cleaner, healthier Middle Ages. Are you ready? You ready for it? Voila! Oh my gosh. Can't believe I'm gonna be riding my bike along this river one of these days. and check out the view of the old city centre from here like, even the cathedral it's so spectacular I'm impressed. I am navigating like a pro through this ancient town. I don't know, I used to get really <laughs> turned around in a lot of these places, but so far, I think I just take a right and I'm at the creperie. With 10 minutes to spare though, way too efficient. <laughs> We go sweet or savory guys. Cool. We're gonna get a glass of heavy blood and a crepe with ham cheese and an egg as well. Okay, so we refueled and we are on the hunt for Jean d'Arc. So Joan of Arc. So 
Okay, there's a house here, so Joan of Arc's house, and it's a museum. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go inside because the website says it's closed between one and two, obviously for lunchtime, and it is two minutes to one. So I think we'll check out the outside, and then we will go up to the Joan of Arc statue, like the monument for her. And then if we have time, I think we'll be down at the museum for two o'clock before quickly heading up to the station to head home. Okay. As expected, well also semi-surprised, the opening hours on the internet are the correct opening hours, so it's not open again till two. But if you buy a ticket here, if you're here for more than one day, this actually gives you a ticket entrance to the Musée Beaux-Arts and the Orléans Museum as well, which is kind of cool to know. And it's at a busy light rail stop, so you can come back. I don't think I'll be getting inside. I just, I just have a feeling things aren't gonna work that way today. But I have come here and seen her house and it's beautifully medieval and actually not in the old town. That was surprising. So let's go find her monument. Cheers. At the end of the street. Let's go. Here in the main square in Orléans, where Joan of Arc is, she's just over there, you have the visitor center, which ha does have a map, and it is free, and they speak English if you have any trouble. Yeah, handy to pick up for when you're exploring. And I probably should have done this at the start of the day, but I kind of like winging it. Really, really hard. Okay guys, I was wandering the old streets when I saw a dome in the distance and if you don't know me already, I love a good dome. Cross over. I have no idea what church it is or its significance or any of its story, but I had to come and check it out. I wonder if you can climb to the top because I love climbing to the top. interesting here's the church and completely separate behind the tree is a tower and it says sixième centenaire de la naissance de Jean d'Arc oh it's been it's in the 600th century reunion of her birth like, it's so cool Plus plus for the gardens. They're so French and they're so peaceful and they're lovely, even with the construction works next to it. <laughs> what do you know? That medieval building that I can see from the garden was the back of her house, Jenna Mike's house. Let's line up with the others.
okay. So that was really interesting. I've never been in a museum like that before, the multimedia museum. So you're only let into one room of my house and it went through a multimedia presentation, which is really fascinating to learn that Age of Empires 2 is factually correct. is fascinating it is so relaxed yet so charming and unique and it like I know it just makes you feel really peaceful compared to being in Paris for the last week or so and I'm kind of tempted to stay at night but I do have plans tomorrow in Paris and I do already have accommodation there and I already have a train to get back so okay get up in the museum because I saw ice cream and Check out the view from my ice cream. Okay, so I just went to do a little quick, like, 10 minute sneaky trip into the Musée de Beaux Arts because I was passing it and I went in, I scared my ticket and I was good to go, however, I then had to go put my bag in a locker and it's a big thing and like I just don't have the time to go <laughs> to the locker, stash my bag, that takes a couple more minutes so I don't have like five minutes in the museum. So we are checking out all the art work on the outside to give us a little inspiration for the next time we're here. So my thoughts on Orléans. One, j'aime Orléans. I love this city. There is so much to see and do and it's just got this really beautiful, relaxing and peaceful vibe. But number two, six hours is definitely not enough. Like the cathedral behind me, I have no idea what it is. I haven't gone over there to have a look, but I really want to. A minimum of eight hours I would recommend, but realistically, an overnight trip would be even better. Even a two night trip. That brings us to number two, number three, losing count for a moment. Um, the city overall in my experience has been really safe, really welcoming and there's a lot of pride in their culture and their region which I think is really fantastic. Number four, I should have filmed this down in the old town where it's quiet and peaceful and said I'm sorry you have the main road behind me but hey, what are you going to do? And number five, don't delay, book your trip to Orléans today, like it is so cool. Like. This part of France is absolutely amazing. I can't believe I haven't been here before and I cannot wait to come back. So now it's time for me to go catch my train back to Paris. Until next time, busy, busy, bye.